Hey guys, RC Tech Pro Flying here with some more information about losing your Ceramic Express LRS antenna off your board. So the last video that I have uh, put out there for you is adding an external uh, Express LRS receiver on the Mobile 8 quad. Well, uh, I did do that, but this was a receiver that I had on there and the Ceramic antenna uh, kind of where it was it was right here so it broke off but um, I decided let me go ahead and take that off and I decided I'm going to try something different uh, on this so I added on here you'll notice I added a uh, wire as my antenna here and I soldered it to the board now you just don't solder it anywhere because each point uh, there's a purpose and there there's ground so I'm going to show you with a multimeter um, what we did to get uh, to determine where the positive side where the antenna uh, wire should be connected so we're going to go to set your multimeter to continuity we're going to find our ground and if you look on the board somewhere there is a ground I think it's right there let's see okay that is that is a ground you can also do it on the battery cable as well so we got to find our ground okay that's our ground right there so right now you see me touching this point here that's ground that's ground that's ground in the back and of course, the one I have the uh, wire antenna hooked up is where your antenna is. You notice there's no ground. That one is not grounded. That's your positive side of your antenna. Now, if you look at an Express LRS receiver <clears throat> on there, you're going to see that there is one of the traces are going to go to the board. Here it is right here. All right. So if you notice on here. Let's see, right here. Okay, so if you notice this right here, that is the positive side of the trace that goes to the board. <clears throat> so the other pins <clears throat> that are on here are all ground. So where we want to connect it, obviously, is going to be on the positive side where the trace goes to the board, and that's how I found it using the multimeter to know exactly where the positive side, uh, where the ceramic was soldered to the board. Now, how I determined the size of the wire, as I counted, I measured each of these lines. Oops, I gotta, oh, it's okay. So I measured um, each of these lines here, okay? Went around the board. Here, I counted the same thing. I counted all these. It came up uh, at um, So I've got my caliber here, measuring caliber, and I measured the size. So I come up with, at the closest I've got is 3.2. 3.2 millimeters is what I got, 3.2. Let's say 3.12 is probably the closest. I would say let's stick with 3.1.2. And there are nine uh, traces around. So if you're counting each of these traces here, you're going to count um, each one all the way around, which came out to nine. So we're going to take our calculator. Let's use our phone here. All right, so we're going to use our phone and we're going to calculate for each of those traces. So we got 33.12 times 9. So I come up with a number of um, 28.8 millimeters 
28.8 millimeters is what I come up with. That is what the length of the wire needs to be in order for you to get at 2.4 gigahertz. Now, we don't know where in the band uh, the frequency is actually on there, but that's close enough that it will give you a good reading on it. So typically antennas are measured by SWRs, so you can get the lowest reading and get the maximum amount of receiving capabilities on the antenna. Now this is a receiver, I think this is a, um, a Free Sky old receiver that I had, which is broken. And I used, you see on the end there, this, this piece right here uh, measures at 31. Uh, 31, let's check, let's take a look at it and see where it's actually at. So it measures at, this is where I'm getting 31. Let's see here, I'm trying to get it in small space. Let's just go ahead and measure it and then kind of tell you what it is. So I'm coming up with uh, the closest that I got here would be, this is what I'm getting, 30.84 millimeters on the length of the active part of the antenna. Now, the way I did this to get the measurements of this, so you don't cut, you don't actually cut it exactly right here. You got to cut it a little bit further this way so you can get some of that um, exposed uh, wire so that this is the part that's going to get soldered so that you can get the full length of the wave, the quarter wave for the uh, antenna that's going to be soldered to the board on this quad. So if you cut it, make sure that these, the point where you're going to solder to the board um, is not part of the 28.8 millimeter length. Now, uh, I originally what I did was I actually cut it here and I left it at the same length at the 30.83, all right, the 30.83 millimeters. I left it exactly that. And of course, um, when I looked at the decibel reading, so I pay attention to the decibel reading as I was flying it around and it was, it's not a satisfy, satisfactory to where I wanted it. So I cut it a little bit more, and that's where I have it down to that, that 28.8 millimeter size. And I got the best reception, uh, better link wide. Believe it or not, the signal was actually better than the factory set uh, ceramic uh, Express LRS antenna on here. Just by having it, you see how I have the antenna, having it sticking up like this gives you a better reception on the receiver so that you can get behind those buildings and better penetration with the antenna exposed like this. So I did put some um, hot glue on here to keep this antenna stable, and this way it doesn't rip off. So believe it or not, I like this better than having the external one uh, because the other one was exposed and I damaged, I damaged it. And this was a great opportunity to be able to show you guys that you can do this this way, having the wire and then make sure you have it secured. Now I noticed that when they, they sold these Mobile Eights, they did have um, the antenna wires. They would lay them across the board. They just would lay them, in, but then you would lose some of that nice reception uh, on the receiver uh, and then transmitting to your quad. So when I did it this way, I noticed the signal was, was much, much better. Um, and I'm not looking for range, I'm looking for penetration and it definitely made a big difference. I'm gonna show you guys um, what I was looking for when I went to test this. So if you hang on just a minute, I'll show you some live footage of the difference um, before and then after. It's gonna have the Express LRS, um, which I just had. This was the, the one that I previously had on there, which uh, I put the external Express LRS, and then now look at the difference after putting the wire uh, antenna on here what a difference it is this is definitely the best way to go to do this and uh, it's working so I don't think I'm gonna have probably a problem with it ripping off because I've hot glued it so anyways that's about it if you have any questions put them in the comments below 
and uh, happy flying. God bless you all. Take care.